Welcome to Monday. I'm running a little bit late. I forgot some stuff at home. Had to go back and get it. That's the way it is. Today's probably my easiest day. I'm not giving a talk, and I think, I think none of my students are giving talks. And uh, it's gonna be exciting. Whew. We're back at it. One thing I was worried about with this eye poster setup is that you wouldn't be able to just walk around and randomly view the posters. I enjoy having the poster conversations with people, but it's also really valuable to just walk around and just casually peruse and browse and see what's going on. And with this new screen setup, it works really well. Oh, I think I see. You'll never guess what I'm doing, hey, man. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Make me proud right here. Because I think there's a lot of demand and there's a lot of um, desire for really collaborative work on high quality educational initiatives. What we have been doing at Rubin Observatory from the beginning. And so here in the schematic, you see the four essentially subsystems of the observatory, the four big components of what is being built at the observatory. Okay, fidget spinners and yo-yos. So far, I'm very entertained. Always with the notepads. Love the notepads. You can't tell on camera, but it's, it's totally 3D. It totally looks amazing. move bringing coffee to Seattle but I like it okay I've got a plenary talk I'm gonna to go to here in about a half hour and so far the poster hall has been a wild success I've got a bunch of top-level swag very happy about that I'm running into tons of people you know the masks they make it a little bit weird people's hairstyles have changed a lot you're never quite sure if you recognize somebody and yet I'm actually running into tons of people that I know like it's been really productive and really positive a good morning so far Let's give a, a warm welcome to Jesse Christmas. Uh, today I'm very excited to talk about the emerging picture of planet populations. But what I'm excited about is taking a step up and looking at the picture of planet populations on a full scale, building a complete census of planets in our galaxy. And today I hope to tell you why I think that's interesting and exciting and possible. Giant planet advance rates increases as we move further out. That's really interesting. What does that tell you about formation in the program disc? Brilliant, amazing, funny, awesome. Exclusive interview with the band Night Lunch. What is a night lunch? When you're at the telescope, you've had your dinner, and then you're working, you're working, and it gets to be 4 a.m. and you need a little bit of a nosh, you have night lunch. And observatories often oh, yes. have catering services that prepare you a lunch for the middle of the night during the day, and you go to the fridge and you pick it up and you eat it while you're controlling your telescope in the middle of the night, totally alone on a mountain in the silence with the wilderness. Night lunch is dangerous. Night lunch is exciting. When are you playing? What's the show? Tuesday, January 10th. 
10 at the Sunset Tavern. Uh, the show starts at 8. We are opening. Doors open at 7. And we'll be rocking hard. I saw you and then you ran away. Hello. How are you? Um, we found these stories uh, like about how Astronomy on Tap like really made a difference in our career path. That far into it, but we're going to you know, tell our stories. Just a quick reminder that the exhibit hall will close at 6.30, which is in 20 minutes. So pardon the pun, but it's time to bring it in for a landing. Thank you. I'm not sure why that's a pun, but okay, message received. iPoster is still kind of, you know, not a perfect format for a poster, but I really like having these big screens. I think this has gone really well. I'm glad to see a lot of people mixing and talking and mingling at these, this sort of open iPoster hour. I wish they were up a little longer. An hour or two is not enough time. Having a poster up for a whole day is nice. How do we used to do this so often? My God, I am exhausted. I'm gonna end the day with a reunion with uh, grad school friends. I'm excited about that. This has been a day totally full of reunions. I cannot believe how many conversations I've had with people that have been so exciting to see changes in their lives, changes with their families, uh, people having kids. People moving, people I thought had left the field who are still in the field. I mean, it's, it's felt like a giant family reunion all day. My student collaborator Riley with his poster up today, making me so proud. Tomorrow I've got a student with a press release. That's gonna be really amazing. Uh, can't wait to go show that uh, and highlight that work. Okay, apparently uh, they're cutting us off here, so that's okay. And then I'm giving a talk uh, on Wednesday, which will be fun, and of course I'll record it. This video hopefully should come out Tuesday morning, and so if you're here and you're watching this Tuesday morning, go see Night Lunch, the band. Those are people who are students here uh, at UW Seattle uh, who now have this amazing rock and roll band. Go see them. It looks like a lot of fun. And Wednesday, if you're in town, go see the Astronomy on Tap Talks. It's amazing. Okay, that's it for day one of AAS. Thanks for watching.